All right, yesterday we just got the ribs off, and today we're gonna do a little bit of experimenting. We obviously gonna find out what are the limits of this new gun and how much it can actually rip through. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing I really want to see is how much damage it can actually do when it rips through something. So you can see if we do it, go like this, you can see it rips pretty fast through this wall, but how much max damage it can actually do. I think a really good test object would be the objective device, and uh, we might have to set the health a little bit higher. I think 25,000 should be enough. And um, let's max it out and see how much it can actually do. Oh my god, that thing is spinning so fast. Okay, so the end result is actually a little less than I expected. I, th I expected it to turn up a little bit more. But we have an end result of 2,730 damage it can do when it spins max spin into something. I mean, to be fair, there's not many props in BR or in creative that actually have that much health, uh, unless you make them obviously as large as this one. Um, but, you know. But I honestly think it maybe should do a little bit more. I think that it has quite some potential for that. So the next thing that I really want to find out is if three blades at the same time do more damage or are faster ripping through this entire wall than just one blade on max spin. One blade on max spin? That is ripping so fast. And it should easily break it since we just figured out how much max damage you can do. And here we go. Okay, and now we're gonna do three blades as fast as possible or at least how fast I can make it. So bang, bang, and oh. Bang, bang, and bang. I, I think that was faster. Okay, one thing which I'm also very curious about if you can grapple on the blade. So if you shoot it and you can grapple on it. You can obviously grapple on a lot of other projectiles like the rockets or something like that. Um, but if you can grapple on a blade is still questionable. I, I think it's almost impossible to try to catch the blade while it drives away. So we had to do like this and then... Yeah, I think there's no way that we can catch on that. So maybe we can actually just throw it into the wall and then catch it as soon as it releases. I think that's a possible thing we can do. So um, let's throw it in here. I'm gonna start with the grapple glove first. Oh, I don't think we can use the grapple glove. Maybe the grapple ball works better. Oh yes, you can, you actually can. So after carefully reviewing this, I found out that I actually grappled on the floor. So, um, you might not actually be able to grapple on these. Okay, so the ultimate test for every projectile, can it pierce the water? And, um, well, let's find out. Oh, it just rips straight through. Like, like the water is nothing. Can you shoot it from inside? That would be interesting. Oh, here it just stocks. Okay, if you shoot it near the surface, it should float up, right? Huh. Interesting. I think the water physics are not there yet, but, um, it is... Oh. It jumped up a little bit. Okay, so the water physics are not that clear what is actually going to happen. But obviously, um, this thing is not meant to be used in the water, I assume. Which actually brings me to my next super smart idea. Can we pour the rift with the saw? Let's try it out. Okay, it does not move up with us and it's still... Yeah, it's still down here and it's still going. Can it bounce? Apparently not on the tires. Let's maybe do it like this. So we have a little ramp which where it's going to go up and then it bounces off this pet. And let's see. Oh, it just kills it. I, I, I could have seen that coming. So maybe if we do it like that, it bounces back to us. That would kind of be cool. Oh, it just straight went through. So I guess it can actually not bounce on these. Also, for those of you who are wondering if this actually does have infinite ammo if you turn it on, uh, not like the grappling glove where it basically still has 30, this one has unlimited ammo. You can shoot whatever, how long you want, it actually does have unlimited ammo. And, and to answer the most important question of them all, who would win? A 2500 HP tank or the new Ripsaw? It just went through. I guess you cannot really damage the tank with the Ripsaw, which is unfortunate. I mean, it makes sense, but... Um, that it just boops it over, it kind of weird. But I would say this one wins the tank. Maybe I just found a weak spot. I mean, we technically just found out that we can make a tank fly. I mean, I, I mean that works as well. Maybe the ripsaw still wins the game. 